So as I said, we are going to talk a little bit about Burnet. And I want to show you how Burnet would treat his patients. <clears throat> and this is the method more or less which I have adopted. This is what we do in blockbuster method also. This is from Burnett's book. It is all copy paste. So Burnett writes about a case of eczema in a three year old child. He says on May 10th, 1888, a lady brought her three year old little boy to me to be treated for eczema in the bends of the knees. These regions were pretty badly affected and the little man's cervical glands were considerably enlarged. As, I, as I'm reading out anything to you all, I will tell you whatever comes to, your, to my mind, okay? Which will help you practically. Bends of knees affected is syphilitic myosin. Bends of knees, bends of uh, joints affected with skin problems, with eczema or atopic dermatitis is syphilis mines. Glands, lymph nodes enlarged is because of syphilis myosin. So as the eczema was most trying in the warmth of the bed, means warmth of the bed aggravated him. I gave syphilinum CC in very infrequent doses for a month. So Burnett gave, I don't know what is the meaning of CC. This is just copy paste from the book. But one thing I know that this is in centesimal scale and probably this is a very high potency in centesimal scale. So what do we see here? It is an anti-miasmatic prescription. The same case continues. On June 7th, much better, notably of the glands, but the eruption still itches in the bomb. So the syphilinum acted, the glands got much better. But eruption, itching in warmth was still there. He gives acid uricum, uric acid 6, 3 drops in water night and morning. So this is a symptom of uric acid. That eczema aggravated warmth of bed. So it gives a lower potency of acid uricum. So here is prescribing only on the pathology. This is like a drainage remedy. Just on the pathology, so the potency is low. And frequently, three drops in the water, night and morning. So anti-myasmatics generally we give a single dose. And when you give pathology specific remedies, we give frequently in lower potency. Remember this. So June, July, August, after three months, patient comes and Burnett writes nearly well. Next, next prescription, hippuricum acid, hippuric acid, the same as the previous prescription. Now, this was Burnett's style. If a patient would improve with a certain remedy, a certain pathology specific remedy and has not got cured completely, he would sometimes give another remedy having the similar symptoms instead of repeating the same remedy. And he says that cures faster. So he gives hippuricum acid. That finished the cure. Eczema was cured. So what do we see here? We see anti-miasmatic remedy syphilinum given and pathology specific remedies like uric acid 6C and hippuric acid 6C used. So sometimes we need the anti-miasmatic and pathology specific remedy. Both to be given if you want to cure. Another case from Burnett. This is a case of alopecia areata. A married gentleman, 34 years of age, came under my observation in the month of April 1894, 
circular baldness in patches here and there. So round patches of hair loss. Also both ends of moustache are gone. Much indigestion and phlegm for many years. Phlegm means thick discharge which is psychosis miasm. Indigestion, acidity, gastritis, any itis of inflammation of internal organs, gastritis, pancreatitis, colitis, appendicitis, any itis, ITIS, itis means inflammation, any inflammation of internal organs is psychotic miasm according to J. H. Allen. All phlegm, Qatar is psychotic miasm. So, and he says, these symptoms led me to prescribe Thuja 30. Again, what we see is a miasmatic prescription, antipsychotic. When he returned after a month of this remedy, he complained of the violent action of the Thuja 30. Those powders have so upset me that I have had to keep my bed. Means he said, I got bedridden. There was some aggravation with that Thuja 30. Because there was an aggravation, he says, no medicine. And after a few days, patient comes out for a follow-up. Burnett writes, mending very beautifully. Mending means getting healed, cured. But quite lately, the hair is falling out again very badly. So he improved and then again the hair fall started. Because he had improved, he kept him on no medicine. A month later, he gives him Bacillinum 30. After Bacillinum 30, hair growing everywhere very well. So first he gave him antipsychotic, then he gives anti-tubercular. He has not written out, written down all the other symptoms with the patient has. We don't know what the other patient's uh, symptoms are, what the other symptoms are of the patient. But his bacillinum prescription usually is an anti-myasmatic, anti-tubercular prescription. So after three months, patient is better, growing hair everywhere, he repeats bacillinum. He called a year later with cataral symptoms of the chest. He repeats Bacillinum. And twice subsequently the same remedy was repeated. Bacillinum, Bacillinum. Discharged quite cured in the fall of 1896. So after two years, he was completely cured. First he gave Thuya. There was an aggravation. He waited for some time. Started getting better. But after that, he gave bacillinum and finished the cure. So what we see here, first he gives Thuya as an anti and pathology-specific remedy. We don't know whether it really worked or didn't work at all. But that is his style of prescribing. And then he gives anti remedy bacillinum. repeats it every two, three months. So what do we see? What is his style? He would, he was more of a anti miasmatic and a pathology specific remedy prescriber. Another case from Burnett. Case of ringworm on the scalp. A girl of 11 with ringworm on the scalp. The lymphatic glands everywhere palpable. Glands, syphilis myism. When we say syphilis myism, we also consider tubercular myism. Because tubercular myism is sora plus syphilis. And her ribs very flat. Strawberry tongue. A bad cough worse at night. Night aggravation, syphilis myism. Although 11 years old, she had practically no teeth. That is to say, they were rudimentary and not above the level of her gums. This is also syphilis myelin. That the teeth had not come out. 
congenital problems, syphilis miasm. All her mothers, brothers, and sisters had died of consumption. Consumption means tuberculosis. So very, very strong tuberculosis history. After three months treatment with her ordinary remedies, means whatever was coming up according to the totality of symptoms, he kept giving that. After three months, he says, we made little progress. We had made but small progress. And then I kept patient altogether five months under the basilic virus, that is bacillinum, with the result that her palpable glands ceased to be palpable, like the previous case. Her ringworm disappeared. Her ribs took on a better form. Her breathing was notably better and her teeth had grown. You see, that bacillinum completely changed the case around. She is now well and has a mouthful of teeth which are quite passable. The teeth also improved. It may be noted that the ringworm has disappeared and in respect to this nasty thing, I find it generally disappears under the influence of the virus, under the influence of Vaseline. Many of us have heard that Burnett would give Vaselinum for ringworm. It works in some cases, doesn't work in all cases. If you have really solid indications, like if the glands are enlarged and the tongue is strawberry and there is history of tuberculosis and development has been arrested, if you have this whole picture, then Vaselinum will work on the ring. It is not specific that a ringworm gives Vaselinum. No. Then he writes the internal treatment of ringworm by sulfur, sepia, and tellurium is good. Do it when indicated. But I trust I shall be able in these pages to show that the treatment of ringworm by the internal administration of very infrequent doses of high potencies of bacillin is direct, exact, radical and beyond compare. So he got the best results with bacillin in ringworm cases, especially when there are glands enlarged, there is history of tuberculosis in the family. Then he gives the explanation, the remedy being pathologically homeopathic, to the whole morbid state, not just the ringworm, whole morbid state and crisis of the individual. Crisis is the ringworm and the whole morbid state is the glands, the history of tuberculosis, the development which has not taken place in the teeth, that is the whole morbid state, the whole thing was covered. So the remedy being pathologically homeopathic to the whole morbid state and crisis of the individual and not merely pathologically similar to the superficial cutaneous manifestations. So it's not that he says ringworm means bacillinum. It is not like that. The whole state has to be similar. Then bacillinum works.